Well. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? They seem to have influenced you. <laughs> These picaresque dissidents of society, deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. All right. It's almost time. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime. As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms, and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because 
He reminds me of my old self. That's all? You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again.
Wow. <laughs> what did you say? Everyone. Good evening. I feel indebted. Everyone.
yes. I shall ask you again another time. Tragic. Give it a try. This is it. <laughs> That's it. Oh good, you haven't gone home yet. Nijimisan's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room right away? She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. Well, telling me that isn't going to get you out of this. The student council room is on the third floor, next to the library. Got it? Why am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Nijima's the girl who keeps following you around, right? What could she want?
earlier than expected. Have a seat. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashita and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Go ahead. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. That idiot! As loud as always. But his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What? What the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On to Kamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals, after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. This is turning into a real pain. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? I'm so sorry. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation, after all. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then... we have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes. It's best we agree. At least for the time being. 
We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah. My bad. So, we doing this? All right. We're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? I was thinking you might not show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A Mafia boss. Mafia?! What are you talking about?! That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse? Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous phantom thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct? 
when he says you act without justice. Can't you say something witty back at her? Why are you being so serious? Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. The student council president from Chujin Academy? I'm not... Why would Makoto... Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. <sighs> I'm so mad. The Mafia, hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We're in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for... Oh, right! That might make people believe in us. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. What do you say, leader? Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. Alright, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. We're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find something new. Could I have a moment? Well, it's... I had a yearning to see the Sayori. So, if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. Ah, <sighs> the Sayori. It seems to suit this cafe quite well. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. To put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. Are you aware that I am attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. 
I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move. And the resulting work reflects such impurity of mine, to be honest. I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I am so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Just look at the Sayori, her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs. But, if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What, then, is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. <sighs> to be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. You would? W wonderful! At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. Rain, huh?
The rumors are pretty terrible. Nijibakun, what is going on here? Apparently the damage done by this so-called Mafia has even reached our student body. Well... I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy, if it were to be discovered. This is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. You're the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? I do. Please, just give me a little more time. Ah, uh, kids these days. This is it. Exactly. Nice going. Now, can you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Ida-kun. <sighs> you don't need my help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Huh? Um... Now that you mention it... Yes. So, um... What I mean is... This is going south fast. Uh, oh! Francois! Huh? My cat, Francois, got run over by a car, and also has an incurable illness. I need money fast! That's not convincing at all. Is she talking about me? Uh, if Francois were to die, I think I'd die too. Probably. Come on, don't talk like that. If you don't like it, then tell me about that easy part-time job. You know something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. Rumors? Was it Nishiyama who... Nishiyama? Oh, uh... Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's... She actually got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on. Let's leave this guy to Lady On and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. See you! Do you have a minute? You're looking for something, right? I want to help you out, so please ask me anything. Nishiyama? He usually hangs out with Ida. Oh, so you want to ask him about Ida. So that's why Takamaki-san was chasing him. I'm sorry, I don't know where he is right now. He usually stays till late, so I think he's probably still somewhere in the school. I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishiyama's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know?
Nishiyama, that's me. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? Job? Uh, are you talking about that one time? I, I, I don't know. I said I didn't want to do it. That's something, Ida. Wait, are you doing something, Am? He's been acting really strange lately. Oh, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll do what you say. Just please don't hurt me. One day, the two of us went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. I don't know. I was so scared, I ended up going home alone. But according to Ida, it only takes ten minutes, and is good for people who don't stand out. Ida started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began, too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? A man on Central Street, huh? That is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes? So that means this part-time job is somehow crime-related. It takes ten minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves a small envelope. Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. Like illegal drugs? Maybe they made Ida smuggle drugs for them. That definitely fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. So he is smuggling. This won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. We'll ask Ida directly. job or else my beloved Francois she's still doing that all right take over for her uh, come on you two I already told you I don't know proof you've got to be lying you can't trick me come on you two I already told you I don't know he did Bastard! Damn it! <laughs> Shit. Well, if you already know about it, fine. I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? How did you... I've only told one person about that. Of all people, I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? I see. Well, even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then.
Let's do it. <laughs>